Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk to you guys about why most people hate their jobs. So there's many reasons why people do not like their jobs, right? And I'm going to list a few reasons. So number one, most people don't like their jobs because of the, the sedentary lifestyle, right? A lot of people are working jobs in cubicles. Uh, they're on computers all day. So two things that the cubicle uh, the cubicle presents that are is unnatural. Sitting down and looking at a screen. Humans are not designed to do any of those things for long uh, periods of time. You are not designed to sit down for hours and hours and hours on end. You are also not designed to look at a screen for hours and hours and hours on end. So especially, you know, if you're looking at a screen and you're not doing something that you like, right? Like let's say you're you're at a cubicle and you're, you're just plugging in like statistics for, for your corporation. Like you're plugging in the amount of sales they got or uh, the, the amount of products they sold. Like, dude, that's the worst thing ever. You're, you're literally a cog in a machine. You're not doing anything creative. You're not participating to anything that's greater than just the mere survival of the company, right? So uh, yeah, the sedentary lifestyle and staring at computers all day, especially if you're not if the work isn't, uh, it, it's not like bringing value to society, um, it, that, that, that's, you can definitely hate your job if, if that is what you're doing. Um, yeah, so that's number one. Number two is stress. When you work for a boss, I, I'm lucky because I, uh, I work at a gas station right now and my, I'm, I'm the manager on my shift. So I don't have to, necessarily fall. I'm not being beat down by a boss for eight hours, right? I mean, I'm not doing that to my workers either. But uh, when you're like, a, you know, if you, it depends, right? Some people have better bosses than others. But if your boss is sitting there whipping you every second, do this. All right, when you're done with this, okay, do this. Okay, do this. And that continues for hours and hours and hours on end, eight hours a day, 40 hours a week every day for fucking years. Yeah, you can start to hate your job because uh, you have no time to think. You're you feel like you're being rushed, and that 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 uh, that environment creates a situation where you're just unhappy. You're unfulfilled. You're not in the work. Like I said, you're not. Do, you're probably not doing. Uh, you're not doing work that's valuable. That means anything. You're doing basic shit, right? So yeah, I mean, you know, th stress is huge, right? Like if you're if you're stressed out at your job because you know people are just, you know, your boss is being a pain in the ass. You're say you deal with customers that are that are angry or whatever. Like I can't I can't imagine people who just work straight up at uh, like their 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 main job is just dealing with people with problems all day. I can't, I just can't imagine that. Like people who are complaining about like something that doesn't work or whatever. I can't imagine doing that. I would have to get paid. I would have to be paid millions of dollars to do that. I would never do that because that just creates stress and stress. What does stress lead to? What are high cortisol levels lead to? Lower testosterone. You're, you know, and when you're stressed out all the time, it's easier to go home to relieve that stress by jerking off, by eating junk food, by smoking weed, partying. Why do you think so many fucking people party? Why do you think so many people are addicted to pornography, junk food? It's not because these, I mean, yes, you know, you could be a, a factor in, in being addicted to these things is boredom and having nothing to do. But I would say a large part of it is due to the fact that people's jobs are not, when you spend most of your life at a job, doing something you despise, you're, the only way to cope with that is by be, being an addict. That's your only source of relief, right? Your only source of relief, especially if you have like, here's the thing, working a job is fine. But if you have nothing like outside of your job that you're doing that's valuable, your job's gonna be a living hell because you know deep down, fuck, this is the only thing I'm doing. I have nothing else to look forward to. There's nothing else I'm building. So when you go home, what are you going to do? 
you have nothing to build, you have nothing to research, you have no, no one to meet, the easiest thing you're going to do is just play video games, jerk off, go to party, shit like that, right? So that's number two. And the last thing, number three, why people hate their jobs is the people, the people they work with. If you work with people that complain or they're bossy or they talk shit about you or they're just hard to work with, like maybe you work Maybe you work in like a retail store or whatever and someone you work with just doesn't do any work and you're the only one doing the work and you're not getting promoted, you're not getting a raise. That can really, really, really screw you up. And that can make you hate your job, right? If you listen to somebody who complains all day and is negative and toxic or you have somebody who's just you know not doing their work, they're being lazy, that's gonna rub off on you, right? Like what the fuck, you know? A part of being like successful and enjoying life and, and uh, just having a better life for yourself is, is positivity. If you're not surrounded by people who are high achievers, uh, you know, people who, who like to, uh, you know, talk constructively about their lives, about their business, health, relationships, uh, and vice versa, if you're surrounded by people who are, uh, you know, lazy, lazy, toxic, they gossip all day, they complain, they make excuses, you're going to become like them. And that's just a terrible environment. So you, you may not mind your job. But if the people are bad enough, if your workers are toxic enough, they can ruin it for you. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm not saying, you know, this video, you know, you may have some, some things you can resonate with here. I'm not telling you to quit your job, I'm not telling you to, uh, yeah, like just resent your job all of a sudden. I'm just saying, you know, there's this, I think there's a statistic that says 87% of Americans hate their jobs. Think about that, 87%. So I would argue to a large extent that most of these factors, I, I these variables I listed here contribute to that. And you got to think about it, right? When you're think about like entrepreneurs and people who are artists or basketball players, right? The reason they love what they do is because they're not, um, you know, they may have a little bit of stress, right? They may have, uh, you know, they just, they may have like troubling days where they're not getting things done or whatever, but they're not dealing with, they're most likely not dealing with negative people. They're not dealing with, crazy amounts of stress and they're not uh they're probably not at their desk all day staring at screens right they're probably up they're probably going places they're probably exercising more right spending time doing things they enjoy reading books uh going to seminars doing artwork traveling they're, they're doing things they enjoy they're not they're not and they're not in one spot all day right so um i would argue that that's a those three things I listed are a huge reason why people despise their jobs. Um, and, and that's honestly why I, I prefer to be financially independent. And that's, that's what I'm working towards. Right. And, uh, you know, if you resonate with that, you should work towards it too. Like I said, I'm, I'm not going to be one of these people here who's like, Oh, fuck a job. You know, jobs suck. You don't, don't ever work. No, I think, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. You have to work sometimes to keep your keep your ass alive. But if there's nothing beyond that, if there's nothing you're doing on the side that's moving you towards the 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 next level you want to get to, um, then you're really screwing yourself up. And you need to take some time to contemplate what you want out of life, who you are, what your values are. So, yeah, guys, those are the three reasons why people hate their jobs. Um, so, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe if you have any questions comments anything feel free to leave it down below and as always i hope you guys have a good one peace